Hello, and welcome to a new series, which I'll be adding to my regular roster. This is Math for Game Developers. I just wanted to make this quick little intro to run through what the series is, what it's about, and things. So, to start with, I cringe every time I watch tutorials and someone says something along the lines of, Okay guys, we're going to do some math now. I know it's scary, I know math is scary, but don't worry, you don't need to understand it, just follow along. Come on, what's up with this? If we're serious about developing, it doesn't matter how many frameworks we throw on top of our work, we need to understand maths. I wanted to make this series to go more in depth in a number of topics, and really sort of nut it out. Is that the right word? Nut it out? Anyway, work it out. Right, so, um, who is this series for? Hopefully everyone who watches this will get something out of it, even if it's just a little bit of mild entertainment. The early topics are going to be very sort of beginner-centered, but it will branch out into some more advanced topics, which hopefully everyone will be able to get something from. But yeah, it's definitely for these early chapters, this is if you're trying to learn OpenGL or graphics programming in general and you're being held back by just not feeling confident with matrices and vectors and stuff, it's going to help with that a lot. And then, yeah. Um, so another a few other things about these videos, they're going to be small. I'm going to try to make a small video which focuses on just a single topic at a time. That way it's modular. You can pick and choose which things you want to view. Um, and it's also going to be a companion to my other series. So sometimes, for instance, when I'm doing shadow map calculation or something, I might not have time to sit down and do a full derivation of the concepts behind it, but those concepts are really important. And so I want to sort of have a bunch of videos in a fixed place. I can say, this is where I sit down and explain it in depth. Um, also, I'm going to mostly be going through things which are useful and relevant to game development. And occasionally I'm going to be throwing in a few things which are more sort of pure maths. My background is pure maths. And I think in order to learn something, we need to kind of go one step beyond the level that we need to use it at for a number of reasons. It might be a really important concept which ties a lot of things together. Um, it might just knowing the step beyond what we're using will improve our confidence. And then it also might be cool and I might just want to show it. <laughs> okay, so um, just a basic overview of where the series is going to be going. I'll be covering these topics and I might be throwing other things in as well. Who knows? I'm going to start with vectors. Then I'm going to go to matrices. And, you know, multiplying matrices, all of that stuff. Then I'm going to go to transformations including coordinate systems. Then I'm going to go to ray tracing. Now, I know I've done some ray tracing already. We've done spheres and planes. I'm going to look at tests for other types of geometries as well. I'm going to go in more detail there. Then another topic I want to look at is visibility tests. So octrees, binary space partitioning, portals, who knows, basically acceleration structures. And then I'll be looking at curve types, so like splines and stuff. And um, then one of the big things I'm going to be looking at is physics, physics simulators. Um, yeah, so getting balls bouncing around, detecting collisions, maybe simulating materials like cloth and stuff. Who knows? You know, it's, it's early days. Anyway, so I hope that sounds fun. And yeah. I'll see you in one of the videos. All right, bye.